So welcome back students. So we have discussed about the uh, parts of an IC engine. So in this lecture, we will be discussing about the stroke. What is a stroke? We will discuss now. A stroke is a reciprocating motion or movement of a piston. So uh, in a part of an IC engine, uh, what? Stroke is nothing but it's the movement of piston from the TDC to BDC. So the top dead center TDC is nothing but top dead center and BDC is bottom dead center. So movement of piston from this top dead center to bottom dead center or a bottom dead center to top dead center. That motion is called as a stroke. So in how many strokes it takes to complete one particular process? That uh, depends upon the type of engine. So based on that, you can ca classify the engine into two major categories. One is two-stroke, another one is four-stroke. So in two-stroke engine, basically, uh, the movement of engine from TDC to BDC and from BDC to TDC, that is two strokes. So in those two strokes, the entire cycle happens. So that is suction, compression, expansion, and exhaust happens within these two strokes. Whereas if you take a four-stroke engine, uh, the suction, compression, expansion, and exhaust happens in four strokes. So based on this classification, we can classify into two-stroke as well as four-stroke engine. So first, what we'll do is we will discuss the four-stroke engine because four-stroke is somewhat easier to understand than a two-stroke engine. So as we have discussed earlier itself, the four strokes are suction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. The first stroke is the suction stroke. So what happens in a suction stroke is, as we can see here, the piston moves from the top dead center to bottom dead center. Piston will come down. So when the piston comes down, what happens is that a vacuum is created inside the uh, combustion chamber. The combustion chamber is a uh, hermetically sealed chamber. So there, air cannot enter inside unless a valve is opened. So it is a sealed chamber. So it is similar to your syringe. Imagine you are uh, closing the opening of the syringe with the help of your hand and you are moving the piston downwards. What happens is that you are pulling the piston. So what happens is that a vacuum is created inside. Similarly here, when the piston is moved down, a vacuum is created. And what happens next is the inlet valve will be opened. So when the inlet valve is opened, what happens is that since there is a... Uh, vacuum created inside the uh, combustion chamber, air will gush inside. Once the valve is opened, air will gush inside to uh, fill the chamber. So that is the suction stroke. Through suction, air is sucked inside the combustion chamber. Air will be sucked inside. Air fuel mixture will be sucked inside because this is the working of a four-stroke petrol engine. So here, Air fuel mixture will be sucked inside. So then comes the compression stroke. So what happens in a compression stroke is that piston moves from BDC to TDC. So once it moves upward, what happens is that the air is compressed. Once it is compressed, the temperature of air will be increased. That is the end of the compression stroke. What happens in a compression stroke is that the air will be compressed. Air fuel mixture will be compressed. So once it is compressed, Whenever you compress it, compress anything, the pressure will increase. So whenever pressure increases, temperature will also increase. That happens in a compression stroke. At the end of the compression stroke, pressure as well as temperature will be increased. So then comes the power stroke. So what happens in a power stroke is that the high temperature air fuel mixture will be ignited with the help of a spark plug. Once the spark plug starts to ignite, starts to give spark, the air fuel mixture starts to burn. And once it is burnt, huge amount of energy is released. What happens is that the energy will push the piston down. So 
once the piston is pushed down, it moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. So then the burned air fuel mixture is pushed outside through the exhaust tube. Exhaust valve will open and it will be pushed outside. So this is the working of the four stroke petrol engine. So we'll see the working of a two stroke petrol engine in the next lecture. Thank you.